How have they practiced it? Yeah, I'll say. They don't, right? They say they do not have it. We should talk to our fans, yeah. no? Okay, guys, we are currently 0 0 within gone stage yet, so all of us are really happy, so there's no emotion, and maybe there'll be some negative emotion, positive emotion during the series, and it's going to be exciting. And I think Vladi just farted because it smells like shit. What do you mean? No, I didn't. I'm like enjoying. Super nervous. <laughs> I know they're not. The players are not nervous. Yeah, they're more focused, I think. Yeah, they're focused, but they're like not nervous. They're just. Uh, in the zone. zone. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, guess, uh, I didn't prepare anything, but let's repeat. We take yeah, responsibility. <laughs> we, 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 we have momentum. We won the last game yesterday. We have the oh, there you go. We have the momentum. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. The, the moment story too. is aligning. Responsibility, you know, just take responsibility, take initiative and com with confidence, and that's it. You guys are better, you know that. Patience. And actually, the, the reason we do this, this is a good one. Listen to me. The reason we do this is because, not because of some fucking war cry or anything, it's because it's simply, this is literally, this literally means that I trust all of you. Not me, but you trust all of you. You trust all of you, you know? You guys trust in the team. Yes. That's what you do. This is what you do. It's team spirit. So that's what you do. Right. Okay. So let's put all the hands here. We're gonna yell louder than ever. And this means, and it's, a, it's, a, it's an actual trade-off. You know what I mean? Trust in each and every one of you. We understand that you guys have the best. Fucking you know what I mean? Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. G2 versus Misfits it was a final last year. This year, it's a quarter. Everything on the line for both of these teams dropping out. You will be trying to qualify through that gauntlet and very well near the bottom. The winning here earns you a ticket to Madrid. And once Alfari gets his level six, he actually has a lot of kill threat. Right now, he is chasing onto Wonder. He has oh! level six. Does it need anything else? I don't think Wonder saw it coming. I don't think he knew the level six was right there. Immediately, the use of Beast to secure first blood. He has a Yankos as well. Mickey now going to run. Can they take down Alistair before anything else happens? They know that the Baron has started. They must know. They do not have the vision they're going quite yet. Now, they're just going to commit bottom lane to look to grab an inhibitor. They might get the Baron as well. Are they going to get their cake and eat it too at this stage? They've already taken down Wonder. Perks needs to find a way into the pit. They need a miracle at this point if they want to get anything back. Can they do a 3k and drop it? Yankos can't get into the pit. Callista secures it. Beautiful play from Misfits. Misfits own the map. They know exactly exactly what to do. Backside, G2 running for this live. TP on the backside, Alfari in the middle of everyone. That is one unkillable Joe gap. But the side steps are going to secure their safety. Hans now running as Perk tries to find his way to the backside. Max Lord busts out the ult. He says, hey, one more for you, baby. But Perks gets out. Oh! But long nom nom nom. Alfari closing in and looking for the win. Absolutely incredible stuff. Two Nexus turns down. It's all Misfits. That's all it takes. Nexus in the side of Misfits. They're going to play with their food. They're going to try to throw in a little BM and they're going to get game one. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the game was fine. I think we played well, you know. Like, I, I don't think. This team is insane. I think we can win for sure. Yeah, but I, mean, I think it's really bad, and I, I just want to. Talk, so it was yeah, but I also think it was hard for you because what we also said is that you know, like we said it like a couple of months ago, like one month or one and a half, that it's really difficult to play carry stop with no mid pressure, and we had mid pressure through the entire early game. But after that, bot got ahead and they started snowballing. TF could always catch, catch mid wave and ult on you. And, and that's when the game like starts being yeah. difficult because I mean, I think if they have Syndra or any other mid lane, they can run to bot, but at least maybe you can see them on board. Don't you agree or do you think it was it didn't matter? Maybe banning something like Gaia TS preemptively is already good because they clearly look for those champions where you can stand on tower and then just inside them. Yeah, I mean I'm fine with that, yeah. So maybe they pick up the free ban just then Galio. 
This is a five-time finalist organization. A brand new roster came into the org earlier in this year, yet they still made it into that final against Fnatic. They want to uphold that legacy, but in order to do that, they have to get through what looks like a revitalized Misfits after a dominating game. G2 going to keep the pressure up here in bottom lane. And I love that G2 are looking to just play through their strong side of the map. Here's the Predator. You can see Max. Cleanses come out. Max, we're going to oh! play. Knocks him back into the team. Beautiful combo, but Yarnit has the flash. He holds on. He says, not today. Knockup goes through on a wonder. Now can they turn it? Yarn is so incredibly low. Yankos is on the way, looking for that ultimate. Wants to connect it. Another beautiful binding from Wadeen. Yankos turning his attention. They know they can get Mickey X. First blood drops. The ulti connects, but no follow-up. Just the one kill. And notice it's Perks and Yankos, the first to rotate into the bottom lane to punish Mickey X and the rest of Misfits going for the engagement. Yarn is still playing safe. Knows that he has to be careful. So many low health bars. So much burst. Less Hot available, off. but Hansama, the flash forward from Yarn. Yarn one more kill. Taking him down the realm warp. Gonna bring it back. Max wants to interrupt, but it's too little too late. The shutdown from G2 as they fire back. G2 with their lives on the line. The chance to go down 0-2. Go for everything. Go for broke around that bottom lane inhibitor. The positioning of Yarnit. They need him to step up again as Misfits enter into the base. Can G2 find the fight to turn this game in their favor? Mickey leaps forward. They're going to try to find the knock up onto him. The eliminating the support could be crucial, but they try to find the engage back. Yankos is in the middle of the team, but he's just too tanky to be left up. Ooh. Indeed, Alfari already burning the all Perks to be new. Perks caught up onto the side. They're trying to do something, but he's got him. Misfits! This is just too easy now. Perks is gone. Yarnit's gone. Game two. Looking to be gone as well. Misfits wants a few more style points. Look at this guy! Asama does not care. He says, upset, I saw you do it yesterday. Let me do you one better. Leaps into the back line, and now they're going to close out game two in style. I can ult him because then he will come from the flank. I mean, I saw it. Yeah. And I can insta go on them as well, and I can be on the fight that way. I can just yeah. fight my, my, my way into the fight. Yeah. But yeah, if nobody does it, then yeah. I think in later team fights as well, like when we're teleporting our front line away. Like, mm. we can't team fight like that. It Instead looked fine when they did it on top side, that's yeah. why. Like when they did it on top side, then they didn't have ult. Yeah. It looked fine, right? Because I didn't have ult then either, because I thought if they ult in, then they're gonna focus them, and I can just ult it from behind as well, and they just get sandwiched, right? Yeah. That's what I they just ignore frontline then. Yeah. No, no, but that would thing. If I would, then they can't just go me because they will let focus them. Because they can not just ignore the, uh, two people in, in their base as well. Yeah, but they can't do it. You still know the fight is better for you if you have two frontliners. I can see the AD carry just. No, but that, 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 that fight was fine. Like the top side, if you had ult. Yeah, but we repeat but the, the same thing three times. Yeah, yeah, but if you cannot get. Like the second time we did it, we were like. They were split, so it was not good. Because then if they, if they spread it out when they do this, then it's not good. Yeah. But if they can be all stacked and we can like, get a good flank and they all run into the same side, then it's good. Yeah. But if we can never get a flank off where they're all stacked, then it's just bad. But we didn't realize that we cannot push wave top and bot because we don't get enough pressure yeah, mid to like ward stuff out, like yeah. around, you know? I, I yeah, we were really, we were really... Like, like if you will just game. match like Varus with Ezreal, then, I mean Ezreal with Varus, or Varus with Ezreal, whatever, then we'll be able to probably like push up top because we open up the game harder when we actually went for the top push out us three, you know? And then, and then we got so much pressure that Ezreal was killing under the tower, so this is what we wanted to, to do. Yeah, and then we could see one more time. Yeah. And, and, and I think we should also be like a bit more aware of like what opponents can do. Because yeah. I think Yuluka got I mean, caught two twice, times yeah, and both of both them were like really bad, you know? Yeah, I mean I agree. Ladies and gentlemen, G2 Esports with their backs against the wall. 0-2 down in this series. That is, you said it earlier, but the only other time they've been down like this, they were 3-0 swept by Fnatic. Are the G2 faithful out? Are they strong? Are they ready to back up their team? Or is it everybody a Misfits fan now that they're 2-0 up in the series? And of course, with the heartbreaking loss for G2, when you have such a big early game advantage and it turns around like it did the last time, it looks like we may already see an early game coming in. Yeah, Maxor at level two, start on the spot side and are trying to go right on it. Trying to shut down, Draven looking for a first blood here. Wadidi trying to stop anything from happening. Flash is starting to come out, buying a bit more time. Wadidi is going to get stunned up. TP's now coming in, they need to get a kill. Wadidi flashing for his life. Mickey X wants to get another one. Hansama, can he get it? Is he going to get one more? First blood! A beautiful start to the game for Misfit. Three man knockup for Wonder could be crucial. The immediate follow from Wadidi. They want to keep the fight started. Yarnit's on touch, parks to the backside. This is what they needed! Misfits cut through in an instant.
lost it. Another game where D2 turned it around in the face. They get another one. Everything that they needed right there in a single moment. The Baron buff denied. They bought time and they want to bring it back. Going to another fight. Oh! Goes in and goes in. Hansama's gone now. They set the sides on set. He's down too. The carries are gone. G2 say not today, boys. You want to take us out. It is not going to be the clean sweep. You're going to have to get down and dirty in the pit. You are going to have to fight for this win. And you are going to have to say goodbye to your team. This is the ace for G2. Misfits, they, they are looking for the, the win. Game. Are they going to go for it right here? This could be everything. Hjarnan versus the world right now. Can he do it? Hjarnan and Wendy in the G2 bottom lane. The best bottom lane in the West. That's what they earned at Rift Rivals. Can they prove it here? Want to turn it back, Hansama just cutting down the towers. PVE the focus. They know they do not need to fight the champions. The silence goes in. Second they have to go. His life, but they're going to find the knock up. Hansama! Hansama! Shut down for Hansama. One more to close it out. Double going in, and gentlemen, this is it. Punks is back. Punks is back. They want to get it. Can they find it? I cannot believe my eyes. Hansama, is he going to get it down? Is it going to be enough? They do it. And the moment of pressure, misfits come through and punch their ticket to Madrid. Misfits make the miracle happen. 3-0 over G2 Esports. Every time we lost at, like something on the map is because it's exactly the same way as Screams. Yeah. As getting caught on side lane or as forcing when we don't need to force or as not knowing what the lane assignment should be or yeah, just just everything is like yeah. in Screams. I mean in game one and game three they were just hard for burning, which happens sometimes in Screams too. Yeah. But still like even after uh, even game three after we came back it was still hard, you know? Like it's still we're still not playing that well. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that it's hard to point out exactly what went wrong with you. So many things, so very small things, all the time is just yeah. fucking impossible. I mean, it varies from game to game. Like, to I mean, exactly. Like, we just need a really big reset and then play the game. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I mean, like, I think we're just liking identity as well. Like, we are, like, at the beginning of split, like, we had an identity, and I think we should find one again. And then the style changes, and we are trying now, like, to play through me, through both, through top. We are trying three styles, and it's not working out for us, because we are not practicing one style enough. Yeah. And both of that screams are, like, screams are ruined every single game, no matter what, because of focus, or of our play, or maybe we are just not good enough. And on, and then, that's it, like, Fnatic has a style, they play through me, misses a style, hard to bot, and without this style, count to pick jungle, and play through jungle. Like, every team that is one has a style. Think like we take one week break from league. We think about stuff, reflect on yourself, reflect on the champions, find champions you want to play. Then we have uh, ten weeks of ten days of practice, and we practice and we go and we get to fucking worlds, and that's a plan now. Yeah. So they should probably be ready anyway. Yeah. That's my go. Yep. Yeah. 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 I still think they have my buff. Clear the place yeah. up a bit. Take your stuff, guys. And then my mouth button. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's. Yeah. 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 Yeah was going through were, were deeply rooted. They, those challenges required that people go back to see their families and then return stronger, you know? And we did not have that kind of time. 
So I think that we did the best we could with the tools we had. We have, and I believe we have the potential to win the gauntlet. I believe we have the potential to go to Worlds and do better than we've done in previous years, even with uh, supposedly better lineups. Uh, we have very high expectations on what we can accomplish with this team, and we still do to this day. At the end of the day, what makes the most amount of difference is how much fun you have playing the game. You have fun playing the game, you become creative, and then your moves are not telegraphed, you know? Uh, if, if you play too much, you become a bit of a robot, you lose that creativity, and then you're not unexpected, you know? Everybody knows what you will do next. So I feel, if I would say one thing that determined our catastrophic loss against Misfits is probably that. You know, people were too stressed about not failing, that they did not think they, about offense, you know? They did not think about winning. Um, for the gauntlet, I'm generally optimistic that we will see a much better face uh, in, in our team. And if we really want to win in a best of five scenario, we need to be much more creative and original and open and energetic than we've shown in the last few weeks.